Thanks, George. The Franklin County woman who was reported missing earlier this month, along with her three children, is speaking to us for the very first time. Her husband is also talking for the first time on camera. Authorities say Lauren Cook and her three children have been missing since early September. ABC 13's Alexia Stanbridge spoke to Lauren and her husband about what they say has been the hardest few weeks of their lives. Missing mom Lauren Cook spoke with me for the first time, wanting to set the record straight. Lots of people talk about you and assume that they know everything about you. Our interview was conducted over an app that can't be tracked. It started as a video chat, but because of bad connection, we switched to a phone call. I just don't really have any solid answers yet as to what's happening with this case. The case Cook's referring to stemmed from what she says was an anonymous report to social services alleging child abuse. Both she and her husband Jordan say that's false. And then putting in an emergency removal order based off of these allegations, it, it was overstepping their bounds in my opinion. Despite a pending investigation, Lauren says lawyers advised her that she could still go on a planned Labor Day vacation. She decided to extend her vacation after she says they got some legal advice. Concerned DSS was going to take away her children. It's hard to be not really able to come back to your own home. Jordan's attorney says their social services case was dismissed this week, but adds that doesn't mean it won't come back once they return. Lauren Cook says that's why she's being cautious. I feel like everything's sort of up in the air. Cook says they're in a stable location, but won't say where. Jordan says it's hard, but he completely supports her. There's nothing worse than hearing, I can't come home. I don't know how long this is going to be. In Franklin County, Alexia Stambridge, ABC 13 News. Lauren Cook says it was her mom who filed that missing persons report, but has asked for it to be taken back. The Franklin County Sheriff's Office has told us they can't take her off the missing persons list until they make a visual contact with her and all three children to verify that they're not under duress. As for the children, Cook says they're stressed, but otherwise okay. We've been following the story closely for you from the beginning. You can find all of our previous coverage on this Franklin County family on our website right now at WSET.com. And when you get there, just look for this story and you can find everything we've done in the past. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.